Hey guys, it's Dave with PeabodyParadise.com. We are uh, out here in the greenhouse just kind of looking around at stuff. And I just wanted to show you guys this uh, this tub that I put together a month or so ago. Probably about six to eight weeks maybe. So probably closer to two months. But um, this has just got ground cover plants in it for the most part. It does glosso. I just started with like a little, uh, like a golf ball size of glosso. And that's glosso right there. And... Um, what else did I put in here? Um, oh, this Marsalia that you can kind of see popping up everywhere. Like that, that's dwarf Marsalia. And I actually just took like one little strand of like six little, uh, six little plants on it. And I just stuck it down here like what a month ago whenever I first got the dwarf Marsalia in. And now you can see it's like spread all the way up there. So that's a really fast grower, invasive. <laughs> pretty uh it's pretty annoying i may actually have to pull it out because it's just kind of getting into everything else uh there's like some micro store here that i started with just a small bit and this glossa right here i actually just put in here i had it in like just a small container and i wasn't fertilizing it at all so it looked like it started to go kind of eh like it's looking like it's kind of wanting to die off so i just stuck it in here and uh see if it'll recover there's some dwarf pennywort right there, and some duckweed, of course, which is dying because the moisture level is going down in here. And also use this as a recovery for a couple things, so there's a couple other things in here that are not ground coverage. But then there's a little section of uh, this is dwarf hair grass that's growing, and like I got a mat on there, like there's a mat under all this that it's all growing into, all this stuff. And, but underneath that I've got soil, so I wanted to just see if I could grow it, you know, on the mat, but also in soil at the same time to see how it would work out. And it looks like it's working really well. So, you know, and just the only thing is when I go to cut a piece out, I just have to rinse it really good to get all the soil off of it. But, um, it looks like it's a really simple way to do it. So you could do this at home. I mean, this tub is just a little cheap five dollar tub from walmart and uh, it's just one of those little plastic under bed storage tubs so this is really easy to do guys if you want to ever try to propagate and spread out your plant so that's that one and uh, that one i leave covered just because of the moisture level i just don't want it to dry out in there so but this one i actually don't even cover at all anymore and i've had this one for a while now probably since like december but this one started out with just two of these little tubs. These are little shoebox tubs with soil in them. And I uh, just put some random plants in them. Um, and as you can see, it's just like a jungle in there now. But we'll try to go over it and see what we have in here. Uh, this stuff with the pointy leaves right here is wisteria, water wisteria, which is uh, hygrophila deformis is the scientific name. And this is the immersed form. It's got like a, it's got like a kind of a pinkish looking leaf or a pinkish looking stem to it. And it's also like, if you look up really close, it's, uh, the stems are like kind of fuzzy. So that's what it looks like when it's immersed. And sometimes you'll find it like that at the pet store because they'll, they'll get them in immersed. So that's that. Um, back there is some kind of Ludwigia. I think it might be Arcuata or it might be a hybrid. There's like a Repens slash Arcuata hybrid that. I was messing with when I put this all together. This looks like narrow leaf Luigia or broadleaf. I can't really tell. That's, that's probably narrow leaf. I mean, with those, there there's so many different species of them, um, especially in nature that I just I'm not even up to figuring out what each one is. I just kind of name them by the way they look. So I'm sure it's not accurate. Um, and then we got Marsalia here, which relative it stays relatively low but as it grows thicker and thicker and it, it runs out of space it's not getting light it shoots up these really tall ones and some of them are pretty big i mean this one you know these are like you see how big they are so um but you know in, in the in an aquarium they don't do that at all like they actually these will die off and then it will just put up these little nubs that are like the size of like your maybe like your pinky nail or something at the most so they make a really good ground cover once they get established so they're really cool and they grow like crazy too i mean these are like all over so uh, over on this side just sitting in the water like what i did was i just got these two tubs filled them with soil just regular potting soil and then um poked some holes in the bottom of them 
and then set them down into a bigger tub that has water in it like about you know like two inches of water in it and what it does is it makes it it makes it wet in there but not like you know completely inundated like um you can kind of raise and lower the water level as needed but these plants have taken off to the point to where they can grow out of it if they if they don't want to be down in it so that's why i've kind of got it sitting where it's at there's some brazilian pennywort right here which i just kind of stuck down in there and it, it it loves being in there so it's it's happy and there's some azola Carolinaana in there and over there and a ton of it over here with a little leaf uh, on this side we got some a little bit different stuff there's some dwarf hair grass down there somewhere there it is yeah there's a little bit of dwarf hair grass down there it i mean it, it's in there and it grows pretty good in there but you know it's getting shadowed by all this other stuff so i don't really expect it to, to go crazy um there's a few other things i missed on this side too like that right there that is uh, is that star grass like heteranthera zostrofolia that's what it looks like when it's above water pretty cool what else do we have in here oh there's some moss growing in here too there's java moss down in there i don't know if you guys can see it or not but i might actually pull it out this is what immersed uh immersed java moss looks like i think it's java moss anyway there's no telling it's just been so long i didn't label this stuff that's the other thing like if you do a tub like this it's a good idea to label it. even if you're like oh i know exactly what those are just label it because you'll end up with something like this where you've got like 25 different things going on there's some baby tears back there macranthemum umbrosum and those grow like crazy in this setup too they love it so uh what else do we got on this side um i don't know what that plan is it just kind of came in as a hitchhiker and just stuck it down in there and it's been doing really good i'm sure somebody can tell me what it is or i can look it up if i get around to it but it's not one that i've kept before so i'm not totally sure there's a uh that's hard to see but there's a uh see if we can get to it <laughs> it's just a mess in here i'm sorry guys wow um and this thing put up a flower not long ago um before it got totally covered by all these other plants i don't know if you guys can uh, kind of you see part of it right there this this little twirly thing right here i'm gonna have to get some of this stuff out just to get just to get to it so be able to look at it it's awesome i guess that's a good problem to have though let's see if we can get it cleared out a little bit there okay there it is that right there is uh kind of doris vesuvius that's the above ground or above water form of a kind of Doris Vesuvius so that's a pretty cool plant it's um we're actually gonna start stocking it soon now that it, we've got a place that actually has it so that'll be cool just look out for that it actually looks totally different underwater too so just I'm sure you can google it and figure out what it looks like and then we got some water sprite here that's grown just like obviously insane so I may actually end up submersing this and doing something else with it because it's just a big monster. So, yeah, so that's that. So, uh, so that's what I got going on in here. So, anyway, so I just want to show you guys this because you can do this at home. I mean, anybody can do this. And you can move this tub in and out with the weather if you need to or whatever. So, it's pretty cool. Check it out, guys. If you uh, have any questions or comments, just let me know. Uh, we can talk about it, whatever. So, all right. I'll let you go. BYSparadise.com. Goodbye.